It is Thursday, May 9th, 2013, and I would like to introduce everybody to the newest member of my digital family, this little desktop right here. Here's all the cords for it. This apparently was custom built Intel processor. Um, can't remember the specifics, but it has Intel GMA 3000 onboard graphics, which is kind of what I was looking for. And this is the monitor that they kind of threw in with it. So, nice big screen, everything else. And there, there's a system I've had for a few years. And that system right there is the 64-bit desktop that I have that has AMD's processor and graphics in it. And right now, what I'm looking for, because I've got, I've got two mobile platforms right here. This is a mobile platform, but though it's stationary. The other one is a netbook with one of AMD's um, APUs has like the graphics on the same thing as the CPU it's all in one so the plan here is to eventually acquire a desktop with NVIDIA graphics a notebook with NVIDIA graphics and reacquiring a netbook with NVIDIA ION graphics so that's what we're doing here and this will allow me to do well-rounded reviews of various operating systems, applications, and what have you. Because, like, right now I'm using, like, this combination scanner printer. And the scanning part works um, with Triscale GNU slash Linux 6. And the only time I put GNU slash Linux in the entire title is if, if the maker of the OS calls it that, or the maker of the distribution calls it that in their title. So, uh, there you have it. And there's the little microphone for the podcast. It's going to be an interesting challenge getting this thing hooked up. Because I've got a couple of ideas, so I'll, I may try to see if I can upgrade the hard drive in this. I have one laying around that's bigger capacity. And then from there we'll see what happens. If not, I'll just clean it out and do what I can with it. This one only has one gig of RAM. So it's... I'm not gonna have much space to work with on this one. Or as much as others. Though it's probably not that big of a deal for me. I think this... yeah, it's about 80 gig, less than 100 gig. Not a big deal. Although, if I can slap that one terabyte drive in there, that might be a good idea. But yeah, um, probably set this system up some way, somehow. Or just, or just set this bad boy on a little table. Set up a little folding table beside that chair and put this on there having this drive right here uh, kind of facing out this way that way I can just still hook it up to the router hook it up and everything else only problem I'm going to be having with that strategy is I may not have a long enough VGA cable to pull this off with so uh, jury's still out on that one. I may just wind up moving some stuff around. The, actually, I may just move this, where that monitor is, have this monitor be right over here next to that, next to, like, you, you see the CRT over there. And then, and then have the keyboard and mouse hooked up and everything else, so I can, I can jump back and forth between the two. 
and then have a little folding table for when the co-host comes over to help me do a podcast and he can set his computer up there do the recording and everything else and it would work pretty well so as you can see this glorified studio slash mini computer lab it's awesome I love the idea of this I'm kind of excited I haven't had a chance to do this and like really like it all I mean every time I was about to something would always come up and and the previous place I was living in was eh, well it was not so conducive to that so but let's see over here is the router and as you can see right here I'm getting a little shaky there but as you can see I have it least one spot left yeah I have exactly one spot left so uh, I may have to invest in a network switch too unless I'm completely blind no actually I've got two spots left so because Here a little bit closer. No, I've got two. Uh, come on. Here, let's see. Because it's kind of hard. Yep, I've got two slots left technically. Two spots left, and that's all I'm gonna. And there's my little thing and modem. And this little guy that the modem and everything else is hooked into so I still have network connectivity or internet connectivity should the power go down for a little bit anyway uh, that's all for now figured I'd go ahead and do that post it and all that good stuff and here we go time to get this in get this uploaded and just go to bed talk to you all later have a good one